A rare treat for the Tri-Cities as a presidential candidate makes a visit today. Ron Paul bringing his message of smaller government and more freedom to Richland. Good evening, everyone. We begin tonight as presidential campaigning arrives in the Tri-Cities. Ron Paul's town hall meeting packed the Richland Red Lion to capacity today. I'm Whitney Ward with Keeper Action News. We're here at the Kennewick Red Lion where the road to the White House quite literally coming through the Tri-Cities today. Hey, Terry. Well, local GOP leaders have long said that if you want Republican votes, you come to where the Republicans are, and that is certainly the case here in the Tri-Cities tonight. Republican presidential candidate Rick Santorum is on his way to the Tri-Cities as we speak, looking to energize his base, looking to cash in on the great number of Republican voters that are here who may be undecided right now ahead of Washington's caucus, which is coming up, of course, on Saturday. Now, we're told Rick Santorum is expected to take the stage here in just a short time. I'm Whitney Ward with Keeper Action News. We're here at the Kennewick Red Lion where presidential candidate Newt Gingrich is getting ready for a campaign rally. Now the GOP candidate is set to take the stage right around 11 o'clock. However, just inside the crowds have already gathered. In fact, they have been here for hours getting ready to secure their spot and hear why Newt Gingrich should be getting their vote. Now Gingrich is traveling hard and working hard to drum up as much support as possible in preparation for next weekend's caucus here in Washington. He is trailing in third so far behind Mitt Romney and Rick Santorum. And continuing our team coverage, I asked voters here in the Tri-Cities, did Newt's message sink in? I just think he's the best. An enthusiastic crowd of supporters for Newt Gingrich's Tri-Cities campaign rally. As the GOP contender worked hard to convince nearly 500 local voters that he is the man to beat President Obama in the fall. The reason he's going to talk about energy is that the price of gasoline is going up and his campaign advisors have suggested to him that he should look like he's concerned. <laughs> He hits us some good solid points that are important to us all. Like what? Like the two dollar gas, foreign policy, our relationship with Israel. Uh, it just goes on and on. Do you think it's different to uh, see someone like this in person as opposed to just on TV? Yeah, it's kind of nice. I kind of like the idea to be able to actually see him in person and uh, shake his hand. When you look at someone, you can feel what they're really thinking or what they're really saying. Where on TV, it's, you know, a facade. Many came as avid supporters already. Well, he doesn't need to prove anything. He already had done that. He's been there. I know he knows the system, and I trust in what he's saying. While others remain undecided on who should earn the Republican nomination. Did this help you make a decision? It's helping me make a decision. I just think it's so very important. I'm going to be a delegate, and I, I just want to be sure that I'm making the right decision. But they all agree their final decision is an important one. And they were honored to be a part of this presidential campaign. Thanks for coming. Now, Gingrich currently has 32 delegates in the race for the Republican nomination. There are 43 up for grabs here in Washington at the caucus next weekend. And by the way, you do not have to be a registered Republican. Any registered voter can participate. And President Obama also happened to be in Washington today for visits and fundraisers in the Seattle area. He began his visit speaking to workers at Boeing's production plant in Everett. Rick Santorum is crisscrossing the state today as he is desperately looking for the support that he needs to secure the Republican nomination. Of course, of course, this is all in advance of the big Washington caucus, which is coming up on Saturday. He's looking for every possible vote that he can in order to secure that nomination over Mitt Romney. And we're told that they did hold this rally after 5 o'clock specifically so as many people as possible could attend tonight. That was an issue during the Newt Gingrich rally last week. They wanted to give people an opportunity to hear what Rick Santorum has to say. This rally, of course, had to be pulled together in less than 48 hours. I was here. That means a lot of coordinating with the local police, the fire department. It also means coordinating with the Secret Service. We were here as they brought in the security canine to scan the room, make sure there is nothing dangerous in here before Rick Santorum does arrive. Of course, he's just looking for as much support as he possibly can get ahead of the big caucus, which is coming up on Saturday. We will have more, as, of course, as Rick Santorum takes the stage here at 6.30. Until then, I'm live here in Pasco, Whitney Ward, Action News.